Tulane University team that's had to come back from adversity and really do it the hard way, starting not only with a young team, but right back from scratch. Let's check in with that story with Cheryl Miller. Cheryl? In 1985, the Tulane basketball program was shattered by allegations of improper cash payments and illegal point shaving. The payments were admitted, but no one was convicted of point shaving. But that was enough for University President Eamon Kelly to issue a self-imposed death penalty. Now, four years later, life has been breathed back into Tulane basketball. I think there's been a substantial change in the, in the Tulane environment and one that made me very comfortable in terms of recommending to our Senate and to our board uh, the reinstitution of men's basketball. It started with the hiring of Perry Clark, a former assistant at Georgia Tech. Clark is a new coach with a new team and a big challenge. Perry was um, inevitable that he would become a head coach. And um, he's aggressive, he knows how to work hard, and he'll do an outstanding job. At Tulane, basketball is back, but academics are the top priority. In fact, athletes have to score 150 points higher on the SAT than the NCAA requires. What happened here in the past really sent shockwaves through this community and through, and through the faculty here. And it's understandable. They don't want that to happen again, and they're very conscious of it. There's no pressure on Perry Clark to win games. He worries more about off-court and classroom performance. I don't go out and say, hey, I want the whole United States to see how wonderful we're doing things. I don't want all the coaches to admire how wonderful we're doing things. That's not, that's not what this thing is all about. Smart athletes, good coaches, the wins are starting to come. Three weeks ago, the new Green Wave upset then nationally ranked Memphis State. Well, we might sneak up on someone. The problem is now that everyone's taking us seriously, which is a real problem. You know, and uh, I think sneaking up on people, those days are all over. Perhaps the program that failed so miserably in 1985 will become a role model for all of collegiate athletics.